Hi, I'm Dr. Christiane Northrup, an OBGYN physician and authority on everything that can go right with your body and how to use this knowledge to transform your health and truly flourish. What's a bioidentical hormone? And why should you use this kind of hormone therapy instead of the go-to standard of Premarin or Prempro? All right, I've been writing about this and talking about this forever. But here's the thing, a bioidentical hormone is a hormone that matches the three-dimensional structure of the hormones produced by your own body, whether you are a male or a female. A bioidentical hormone for a horse is Premarin. Premarin stands for pregnant mayor's urine. That's how they came up with the name Premarin. And if you put water on a tablet of Premarin and smell it, then you will know what Premarin is made from. It's bioidentical if your native food is hay or grass. But for humans, a bioidentical hormone is 17 beta estradiol or testosterone or estrone or estriol. You see, it's a complicated deal. But if you're going to take a hormone, why not take something that your body recognizes? Because the way a hormone works is it works like putting a key in a lock. And if you put the key in the lock that's exactly the right key and exactly the right lock, it opens doorways that you want opened. As opposed to, imagine this, if you had a key that opened this door over here, aisle number four but you didn't quite want was over there, or aisle number six but you didn't really want what was over there, because here's the thing, hormones produce daughter compounds. So you start with the original and then it produces metabolic end products that are different from what your body is used to. So it's much better to choose a hormone that exactly matches what your body would normally produce. Now if that's an estrogen, then I want to give you a list of some bioidenticals that you could get at any drugstore. The Vivel Dot, the Climera Patch, Estrace is bioidentical, and then there are the progesterones. Prometrium is bioidentical, and so is Crinone, and so is Procheve, and those are vaginal uh, gels. Uh, there's also some testosterone patches. Now, I want to talk about, just for a minute, the uh, herbs, because there's these things called phytoestrogens, or plant estrogens. Those are found, believe it or not, in apples, and they're found in almonds, and they're found in broccoli. And then they're in higher concentrations in herbs like maca, prairie marifica, uh, black quahosh, and so on. Now, they're not exactly bioidentical for the female body, but because plants and our bodies evolved at the same time, evolutionarily speaking, our body's livers have the ability to metabolize those, and they have estrogen-like effects, but they bind to the beta receptor of the estrogen receptor. There's two, alpha and beta. And those things, plants, that bind to the beta receptor are generally healthy for the bones and the breasts and the genital tissue. Those that bind to the alpha receptor are the mammalian steroid hormones, like the 17-beta estradiol in the Vivel patch and the Climer. I know it's complicated, right? But here's the take-home message. Your body knows how to produce a hormone, and when your ovaries have been removed or for some other reason you need additional hormonal support, then start with the plant support first because it's safe. And then if you need more, just make sure that what you're taking is bioidentical for a human and not a horse. For more inspirational tips, visit my blog and explore drnorthrop.com where you will find wisdom for your body, mind, and spirit, including a lot more data on this subject. Visit daily to discover the connection between your thoughts, beliefs, physical health, and life circumstances. And remember, you're in the driver's seat of your health. Going out in the sun for a little bit increases testosterone. And you can make profound changes.